Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark. I've got Steve with me, the usual suspects. We're talking about Final Cut Pro 10, And you're going to dig into um, something about auditions? Right. Uh, auditions are this unique Final Cut Pro 10 construct for previewing things without having to create a stack of tracks. Because that's what you needed to do. It. So you're talking about if you wanted to look at different options for a particular clip. Right. Let, or, let's say you have a clip in the timeline and you want to experiment with different looks on that clip. Okay. You can actually put into one audition container and then try out different, right. different looks. Um, you might even want to use an audition for trying out different versions of an edit. Okay. And that's something that's that's new, and my friend Abba Shapiro brought this to my attention last time I saw him, and he showed this to me, and I go, wow, I didn't even think about using auditions this way, where uh. you can actually make an edit and uh, different versions of a, of a clip um, to duration. Oh, so instead of, because usually I think of auditions of auditioning different clips, and instead of stacking them on top of each other and dis enabling and disabling them. Well, that would you be an attack-based editor you would do Yeah, that. you'd have to do that. But But you're talking about using auditions not to look at different clips, but look at the same clip? The same clip, yes. The same clip? Yeah. Okay. I well, should just show, show you. Yeah, okay, show, show me. Yeah. Okay, so I guess before we get started, I should talk about what we're working on here. Uh, this is a short film that I shot over the holidays called Cupcake. And uh, it basically stars this, well, this, this little Christmas-obsessed girl. She's kind of into Christmas. But as as you go through the film, you, you realize that there's something just not quite right about her. Uh, she starts, you know, having, you know, conversations with inanimate objects and like, like this, uh, like this nutcracker. And then, you know, she's, uh, things happen in the kitchen and she's talking to, uh, talking to other, you know, inanimate objects like this elf. So don't want to give away the whole thing. They can go up to, you can go up to Vimeo or, or Vimeo page and you can see. Okay, and it, it's Cupcake, but it's C-U-P-K-A-K-E. -K -K -E. right. Cupcake. Cupcake, exactly. okay, and it's on the Ripple Training Vimeo page? Yeah, if you click the, go to Ripple Training and click Vimeo, you'll see it up there. Oh, okay. You can get so right anyway, to it from Ripple Training. So let's talk, talk about um, how you'd use Audition here. No, this is a rough cut here. I'm just Everything is kind of laid in what, what uh, we call fat. In other words, it's got a lot of handles. It's not tight. We're, yeah. We just kind of did a string get out. Get a string, get a feel exactly. for the flow of the thing. So I have this clip in. I'm just going to play a little bit of it. And... Just so you can see context. So she's um, in this in this scene, she's uh, noticing the nutcracker making all this noise, and she wants to shut it up by put it, putting in a gumdrops in its mouth. And by the time we get over here, um, you know the blender's going, and she's blaming an, another inanimate object. So I'll just play it from this point. Rack. One, two, three, action. Okay, this shot feels excessively long to me. It just feels like it's on there for an eternity. <laughs> that, that last shot. That last shot. It just yeah. seems long. I, you know, I want to try a, a shorter version of this. I'm, it's just long, but I also want to... I want to see it in context with these other clips around it. So, okay. And you want to be able to look at both versions. I want to be able to look at both versions, okay. right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to park the playhead right over the clip and I get the little white ball right over it so I don't okay. have to select it. It's an active, active click indicator, indicator, which is great. I love that feature. I don't have to select clips anymore, which is fantastic. And I'm just going to go up to the clip menu and I'm going to go down here and choose audition. I'm going to choose duplicate as audition. So you're duplicating, making another copy of the exact same the clip. The exact same clip, and I'm going audition. to put it okay. into an audition container. So okay. I'm going to do that, and immediately in the timeline, you will notice that there is a badge now indicating it's an audition yes, clip. Yes, a little audition badge right, right there. Uh -huh. Now, if I click on that badge, it will open up a little window where I can see my two clips. Now, when I toggle, I'm using my arrow keys, my left and right, and I'm just toggling. There's no change because it's the same, same clip. clip. There's nothing different about but it. But right? here's what it gets interesting. I want to do... I want to preview a shorter version of this clip. So I want her to scold the elf, put it down, and about maybe right here, well, maybe a little sooner, scolds the elf, and just in motion, I want to cut on the action. Okay, okay. Well, she's going so to right down. there, I'm just going to hit option, uh, right bracket, and it will trim to the playhead. Okay. okay, sure. So now I can use this great feature called play around current, shift backslash, or shift question mark, and basically it's a running preview, plays, and I can see this edit, this shortened version of the clip. 
In context, this in is context, playing a little bit yes. of the clip before and a, a little, little bit, bit of the clip after. Right, great, nice. Okay. Now, okay, great, it's gonna keep looping, but I have also that other longer clip. So if I click the badge, yep. I wanna see the longer, I'm just gonna to toggle my left arrow, do that, and boom, notice, notice the duration changes. Yep, and it's because of the magnetic timeline, it just pushes, pushes everything, everything down. right. Mm -hmm. So I just go ahead and do that, click done, and I can play this back just like I did the other one. But there's an actually a faster way to do this. Okay. Um, if you right click on the clip, Seemed pretty fast as it was, by the way. Fast, but still, but you're gonna like this feature. I love yeah. this feature. I can preview it and make changes, swap out the the audition clip on the fly as it's playing back. Yep. So I have a client in the room and say, let's let's look at these two versions. Oh, and you can just have it do it while it's playing. While you, don't it's, have, you don't have to stop playback. You don't have to stop playback. So how do you do that? Well, what you do is you right click and you go down to audition, and there's a preview. And notice uh, command okay. control, control command, command y. y. And as soon as you do that, it's it's gonna it's well actually. So it should start playing back. So just use a keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna just use a keyboard shortcut. Con control, command, Y. And it, notice what it's doing back, it's backing up, yep. and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna play uh, this clip. This version This of version it. of the clip. And this is the longer version. this is version. the longer version, okay. right? Now, if I want to see the shorter version of the clip, all I have to do, tap the right arrow. Oh, okay, and it switched right to that it's other angle. Uh, not, not other angle, it's not multi-cam editing. <laughs> right. It's sort of, you know, but it's two, two different auditions. So you can live while it's playing back. I'm doing it right now. I just switch back to the longer version of the same clip. Okay. Switch back to the shorter version and play it back. And normally you'd probably watch it play through, switch it, but you can live, loop, keep looping and switching between, and you can have multiple. You don't have to have, have two, have, you have right. three or four, whatever. Exactly. Any number in there. Let me show you another a variation on a theme. Uh, this is great for cutting, but let's say you wanted to use an addition clip for affecting a clip. Like this is, pretty much what came out of the 5D Mark III. And we were recording to like a Ninja, Atomos Ninja, and it's just very, a little maybe color grading, but this girl's over there, I wanna give it kind of an over the top Christmassy feel, like a Hallmark card, I want it kind of glowy, yeah. and it just got this okay. warm feeling. Because in contrast to the rest of the film, which you'll see if you watch the rest of it, yeah. um, we're definitely going for contrast here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure the play is parked over the clip, and I'm gonna go into the effects browser, and I'm gonna just do a search. Um, this one effect that I really like called Romantic. Okay, and it adds kind of a soft vignette glow around the outside of the frame. I see, it's kind of blurring everything right. outside the middle. Right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that on there. And just so you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to the inspector and I really wanna crank up the parameters so you can really see the, the difference here. So I'm just gonna bring up the amount so it's, you can see it's, it's, it's really, really getting blurs, soft. Kind of blurs, kind of blurs. And I'm gonna change it to elliptical so it's more of an oval shape here, here. And you can okay. see, you can definitely see it. But yeah, before all the edges and, are blurred. Yeah. yeah, before and after, mm -hmm. okay? Now, what did I just do, Mark? I actually affected the clip. The clip, yeah. Like, There's no well, auditions well, oh in this Oh my gosh, what do I do? I wanna, I'd wanna compare this against the original, but I just put all these effects on it. So you're gonna have to take the effects off? No, and I don't do have to take the effects off. Why not? Watch, I'm the playheads part okay. over. I'm gonna go back up to the clip menu, yep. choose audition, and this time I'm gonna choose duplicate from original. I, I never understood why there were two separate things there, duplicate from original and duplicate as audition. It's it's so, going to duplicate from it. So I'm going to get my unclean, unaffected, you know, like clean oh, out of the camera. So it'll make a duplicate of this one without the effect applied. That's right. In okay. fact, it's just, there it okay. is. There's the unaffected one. In fact, if I open this up, you'll see that there's the affected one and the original. Okay, great. So if there were no effects on it, those two commands do exactly the same thing. Essentially, yes, if there was no effects applied okay, to it. but if there are, it sort of just strips them all off and makes a copy with nothing on it. Great, that's really handy. Yeah, and, and you can keep going. You could say, you know, I, I can actually duplicate right from in here. I could say, you know, all right, I want to do another duplicate and it's going to duplicate the original. It'll duplicate whatever you Whatever's have selected. selected. So let's okay. say you have a heavy-handed use of the effect here, Yeah. right? Uh, you can duplicate that version Right, and then because that's selected, now when I go back to the inspector, that's the starting place. And yeah. I can say, maybe I want it less heavy Got handed. It. Got it. So now that Very I have cool. three Very versions, cool. I mean, two versions with different parameters applied to, to that clip inside the yep. audition container. I love it. Yeah, it's, Great it's a lot of fun. By the way, if you're interested, we're, um, we're coming up with a tutorial that's not out already, probably in March, but it's all about creative editing, this stuff. All yeah. of this, how I work faster, more efficiently in the timeline to tell my story. Okay, it should, by the time you're watching this, it should probably be out. So the creative editing. In Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, Star excellent. Starring Abba Shapiro. So, um, great tip. Very interesting use for auditions. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Um, if you want to learn more about Final Cut Pro 10, rippletraining.com. Check out uh, Abba's new tutorial about the craft of editing there as well. Follow us at Ripple Training. And thank you, Steve.
And thank you for coming back and watching us on the MacBreak Studio.